Hi everyone and welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey episode 11 with me VimPF. Today um, we're going to be trying out uh, something from this set I've got and it is the Canadian Club Sherry Cask Small Batch. Now uh, in, in honour of the Canadian Club, wearing my Toronto Maple Leafs jersey. Now, I used to be a big fan back in the day um, but uh, that petered out a little bit over the last five years unfortunately but I still have my old jersey couple of years old now, fun oof number three, Capitaine. So onto the whiskey itself. Now this whiskey, before I go onto the whiskey, I'll talk about how I got hold of it. There's this uh, new subscription service called the, the Dram Team, Chris, Greg and James. Now these guys, they send a set every month of five, five single samples of uh, 25 mil and one ultra special 10 mil. So in this one, we've got the sherry cask I'm going through, and I'll just take you quickly through the ones I also got. This is last month's, by the way, there's a new one coming soon. The Mitch's US One Small Batch. The Paul John Brilliance from India. Connemara 12 Year Irish. Nicker from the Barrel, Japan. And the teeny tiny New Zealand Whiskey Company 22 year old 1992 cask strength. So I'll be going through these a lot because obviously that's a, that's a lot of whiskey to go through. I do four reviews a month and I get six off these guys, so I'm going to be in a bit of desperate. So onto this one itself. So the Canadian Club, Sherry Cask, Small Batch, Canadian Whiskey, Blended Whiskey, 41.3%. That is as much as I know about it. I haven't done any research on this. I've relied entirely on this little card they sent me. And the reason why I've done that is I want to compare what they say to what I what I get. So if I just read off the card quickly. From the Dram team themselves. A luxurious sherry hug in a glass. A drop of water smooths off the hot nose. Really impressive and highly sippable. Oh Canada. Well, um, I won't put a drop of water in it. I don't, I don't tend to do that. So I will see how we get on with it. On the nose. A mix of rich Mediterranean fruits, gentle oak and sherry. Palette, an intriguing fusion of sultanas, dates, figs, in balance with toasted grains and mellow oak. And on the finish, deep and enduring sweetness that closes with a subtle sherry and oak. Well, that's got me salivating, so I'm going straight into it. Now this is completely fresh, sealed. Literally have no idea what this is going to be like whatsoever. Oh. oh, that smells good. All right, let's, let's chuck it in here. Every bit. Wow, look at that. That's deep, that. I don't know if they've added any colour to that. Who cares? No one cares. It does have a hot nose. You get quite a lot of alcoholic smell from that. But you, I mean, you can, the sherry cask influence is all over it. Hmm. Oh, they're not wrong. That's really nutty. Surprisingly nutty, actually. Definitely, definitely grainy as well. Definitely that toasted grain that they were talking about on there. Wow, I'm genuinely surprised by that. I don't know if you can tell. Well, it's not often that I try a new whiskey for the first time and just think like, "Wow, that's that's really good. This is good." And the finish really does linger around as well. It's quite viscous. Mm. Well, I mean, that's really surprised me. Genuinely surprised me. I've never had a Canadian Canadian whiskey before. Um, not intentionally. It just hasn't ever been given the opportunity, really. Um, over here, we tend to get the festivals every now and again. But really, I'm sort of working my way through scotches still. And I've only just opened my eyes to bourbon as well. So this is a brand new experience for me. 
I'd love to get my, my hands on some more. I'm definitely going to try and get a bottle of this, actually, if I can, because uh, that's really good. And Sherry Cask, anyone who watches the show knows that Sherry Cask is an absolute winner for me. I am going to... I'm going to finish this. Oh. Yeah, sublime. Once you get past that initial alcohol burn, it's not, it's not smooth smooth. But then, I don't really care about smooth. I mean, I like, um, I like new make spirit. Just, you know, just a little bit. I certainly don't like at it. 70%, even the cask strength stuff, 50-60%. Love it. Love a good whiskey to be strong. Alright, well that's that's the Canadian Club. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next week yet, I'll be honest. So I'll probably do a Twitter poll. If you check my feed out uh, any time on Thursday, I'll probably run it until the weekend. And um, I'll see you next week on No Nonsense Whiskey.